and welcome back. We are in this 10 minutes in Skyrim. This is my character, Ren. We are in Ustengrav Depths. I forgot I'm saying that name right. Ustengrav. Yep. Searching for the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller. Uh, 10 minutes in Skyrim is a Monday through Friday posting here on the ASA podcasting channel. Uh, other things are more random. Colin has been posting a bunch of Fallout New Vegas. I'm going to start po posting my Fallout play as well. I've, I'm working my way through three. Um, I'll be switching to New Vegas once I complete that storyline. And also, I'll we post uh, some roundtable play and stuff like that. Also, the... Well, yeah, I'm going to say also like 30 freaking times. Um, the live shows are done here on YouTube as well. Like the Skyrim Roundtable. And sometimes regular Skyrimatic episodes are done here as well. It depends on... Sometimes they're recorded with the round table. And other times I record them myself. Oh, I always like this area. This is a great, great archer. I love these areas like this. They're really fantastic for archery. Hopefully the audio isn't like uh, crazy, crazy loud. Because I think my headphones are crazy, crazy loud. Um, yeah, I love areas like this for archery. Just fantastic fun. Uh, and hopefully my archery will be getting better and better. Because it's pretty crappy right now. Level-wise. I'm a decent archer. Because I do it a lot. But, uh... Hmm. Did I come through here already? No, I don't think I did. No, because I would have looted them. Oh, nice. So if you don't know what the Skyrim Roundtable is, it is uh, Andrew had came up with a way to randomize characters, and we go through different quest lines. Uh, right now we're doing Dawnguard plus all the date requests. Um, but we just got off the Civil War. Previous to that, I think it was Dragonborn, and also the main quest was the first one. For obvious reasons because it was the main quest so you should probably do it first all right i think this is just like a loot area from what i remember uh, any kind of healing potion i can get at this point though is pretty helpful uh so with this character i'm pretty much doing all of my play recorded except for little gaps here and there if i'm traveling places so uh, as it gets further along, that'll probably be the case. Let's see. There's something around here somewhere. Where's he at? Oh, there he is. Oh, hi. There we go. One thing I do have is Soul Trap on my bow, so that'll allow me to improve my enchanting here coming up. So let's get up here. Let's head back across. Aha. I don't know how many times I've set myself on fire with those things. I couldn't even tell you. I think far too many is the answer. All right, I'm missing the other handle. Where is it? Oh, there it is, okay. Oh, let me guess what's gonna happen. I have been using a little destruction up close. Um, I'm starting to like that. I'm getting that 
that pattern where I, I use the, the archery too much. And I even try and use it close up, and that's not really great. <laughs> Ends up really bad that I opened that already. I don't remember. No, I did not. So let's open that. Alrighty. I guess I can enchant some stuff, actually. Uh, and disenchant that greatsword. I could always use a sparks enchantment. Or electrical enchantment, whatever. Alright. Do I want a... I'm wearing the illusion ones. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of that. Yes, I would like to learn its effects. Yes. As well as these. There we go. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's see what we got. We can do. Oh, there we go. Wow. Wow. Some great, great stuff I got here. Well, whatever. Anything helps at this point. Get a ring. Gotta put a ring on it. Might as well just use the petty one, because really, what the hell. <laughs> and since I'm going to do the double dagger stuff, I might as well do some... Uh to start doing that, so hey, what the hell. Might as well do one up. Alright, we'll do a steel dagger as well. With, uh, do one with frost. How about that? I want to be able to get some hits out of it, so. Alrighty. Can level up. Let's see what I got going on here. See where I'm at. Um, I should probably add a little health. I don't really need much. Let's see if I can add some archery. I am not quite there yet. I need 40. Uh, I don't really use the critical shots a lot. I already did that. Oh, damn. Oh, man. I guess I'll do some... Uh, oh, you know what? I should up my destruction. If I can. Cast the novice spells. Oh, yeah, that's what I want. The duel. Alright, so we got that now. Alright, that's good. Let's get out of here. Creepy old sounds. Well, at least I have the explosive arrows. I can remember to have those for the final battle. Um, where am I? Oh, nice. God, I love, I love shooting from up high like this. So fun. Where are you at? Where are you at, guys? Oh, there's one. And he killed himself. That was helpful. Skeletons are certainly way easier than in Oblivion. Man, when you, like, when this first came out, when, uh, if you were, like, right off of Oblivion... You were probably scared to death of the skeletons in this game. And then you were like, oh, no, no, no. They're quite simple. Alright. No, the guy in the throne never gets up. Alright, let's see if I can get this guy as he's running out. Before he even runs into the flames. Nope, not even close. <laughs> the 
That was terrible. I don't know if I can get him from this angle, actually. And he killed himself. There we go. They are skeletons. So, they aren't the smartest. Alright, we are done this episode of 10 minutes in Skyrim. We are still going through Ustengrav. And we will continue through here on our next episode. So, you can check out all the podcasts and all of our content. Content over at asapodcasting.com it's in the upper right hand corner there's a link there should be a link uh, in the video here so check that out if you'd like alright I'm going to do some looting and we'll get back to Boosted Grab next time